hello in this video i am going to show you how to set up visual studio on your windows machine so you can compile and build and run c applications so those are applications made using the c programming language so <laughs> visual studio at least in terms of the way it's advertised you would think it doesn't support c but it does because visual studio supports c plus plus and all C code runs in C++, you can essentially create a C application by creating a C++ application. So yeah, that's, that's the way you do it in Visual Studio. So make sure you've got it installed. If not, show you where to get hold of it. And I'll provide a link in the description to everything that you'll need. And just Google, but like I said, I'll provide a link to it anyway, but you can Google it. Visual Studio, go to the first link, and you can go to Visual Studio here, or you can select, I want to develop for desktop, C++, Windows, and here we go. We don't want Visual Studio code. I'll create a separate video covering how to actually set that up and run C-based applications using Visual Studio code for Mac, Windows, and Linux. So feel free to check those videos out. So just click this, community is more than fine if you have the others that's fine as well just click that this is only gonna be like one and a half meg installer this is basically like i said an installer in here you would download visual studio etc so if i open this up and it launches that up just click yes click continue and i already ran it before i started this video so we had already downloaded what it needed to download i think it was 20 or 50 meg it was not very big so you won't have to wait a crazy amount of time because at this stage it isn't actually installing visual studio it is just getting the the installer ready ignore that that probably won't pop up for you i've got an update which i need to do but i'll click close your interface will look something similar to this you'll go to available and in there you'll get visual studio community 2019 and depending on which one you want if it's 2017 or 2019 i recommend the latest and i recommend community because it's free you literally just click install like so and if you was to click install i can click modify on here actually if I can show you. So if I click install on this community, I'm not going to actually install 2017, but it's the same principle if you install in 2019. You'll get something along the lines of this. You want to go to Windows, you want to go to Desktop Development with C, select that. If you need anything else, that's fine, but that is the one that you will be needing for this tutorial series. It will automatically select a bunch of other things. That is fine. Also, on top of that, if there's anything else that you want that you know, feel free to select them. You can change the location as well. And then you just, that option is fine. Just click install and you'll start installing it. This is something that can take a bit of time. So uh, the exact interface will be like this, obviously, because I've already got it installed. I have to modify it to essentially you know, show you. You'll have something along these lines. You go to desktop and mobile. Go to desktop development c++ select it then you click install after a while you'll be good to go and if it doesn't ask you to i recommend rebooting your computer it's always good to do that when you've done a major installation so next launch up visual studio i've already got it here but you can just search for it here and now from here go to create a new project My Visual Studio decided to hang, it'll load up. And if you've got multiple languages installed in Visual Studio, click here, go to C++. I've only got the one, so it's not much of an issue. Go to console app. You could technically do it with an empty project and then manually create your C or C++ file. That's totally up to you. I guess you could choose one of the others, but really just for the purpose of this tutorial series where we'll be covering the different features of the C programming language, click console app, click next, and now name it. So I'm gonna name it test application. The solution name, recommend that you leave it, you know, the same. Don't select that, just deselect that. 
and you can choose where you want to put it i'm putting it on the desktop don't worry on the desktop you'll create a folder called test application and all the content of our application will, will you know be created there okay dokie so now that it is creating that okay so this is a c plus plus application to turn this in or allow it to run c what you want to do go to source files and you can even delete this and create a new file with the c extension or just right click rename remove pp so it's just c and we'll get a few like a red line or two here that's to indicate that there are errors now so if i get rid of this and if i go to google see sample hello world so if we just get a sample hello world application and i'm not going to discuss what each individual line does in this video the purpose of this video is merely to show you how to set up visual studio so you can code in c for applications i'll have a separate video covering tokens white space comments all the different features of C, uh, tutorials, I should say, not just one video, and you know, covering the structure of a basic C application like this. If I paste it in, and you can format it the way you want to, but if I just click either F5 or run here, or pro build, and I'll run it via this, or debug, you know, start debugging. But if I click F5, it will start debugging. And the hello world will print in the output down here once the actual application launches so down there up here so it says hello world ignore the rest of it so that's the actual output of our application and it says exit it with code zero that's because there's a return zero here i'll cover you know that in more depth in separate video so feel free to check that out and that's really it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. Pretty simple stuff. I'll provide a link in the description to the Discord group where there's a bunch of programming channels with thousands of members in general that are helping each other out. So feel free to message on there. As usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And bye bye.